Today we'll follow up on the last video about chain of thought functionality from Llama Index. We'll first look at the implementation in NIME, then do some tests. In the second half of this video, we will then look more into what is going on under the hood. That will require us though to go back to VS Code. I can just encourage you to stay on after the NIME part, as I we will gather very interesting insights to put the outcomes of the last video into a better perspective. To start with I had to move the functionality from VS Code, where I tested it in the last video, into NIME. I worked out how to make the Conda environment available. With you having to install anything, you can thank me later. As long as you have your Conda reference correctly as explained in the last video, I also went through a wild and iterative process to actually get things to work in NIME. In that process I also uncovered that some of the components built from my Croia video were reusable. Thumbs up NIME! In the end I made the chain of table as well as the baseline functionality work. Well, chain of table still errored out most of the time, but at least know you can experiment with it yourself. So let's have a look at the final product which you can access and download from my NIME hub, link in the description below. To start with I have added a Conda environment propagation node. You may be asked to install an additional extension, but trust me it will be worth it as long as you have set up your Conda in general correctly. This will take care of setting the environment up for you. Next I have slightly modified the provide model information component from my crew AI video. Here you can provide either your OpenAI API key and select one of their models, or alternatively provide a base URL for your local model. You can also specify the temperature parameter. So you can get started quickly I have also included a data set you can use for testing. It is about nutritional information of Starbucks drinks. Last. There is a very simple component to enter a question about the data set. Simply right click and go open and view and type your question. All those inputs are the connecting to the to Python nodes. The upper one uses the baseline functionality where the table is serialized and sent to the large language model alongside the question. This tends to work okay with GPT 3.5, but still is not 100% reliable. Let's now test this with my local model. I'm using a 7 billion parameter model named Neural Beagle. This part now is uncut so you are looking at the real speed. It is quite fast however my model gets it wrong. Spoiler alert. Let's quickly look at the correct answer. Using the sorting node below. The correct answer to the test question is Starbucks Signature Hot Chocolate with 430 calories. If we now reset and try this again. I'm afraid this does not get any better. Smaller general large language models might not be powerful enough for this task. Maybe a specialized model could help, but that is just my thought. Now let's try the chain of table implementation. Although I don't want to get your hopes up as it did not work any better with the small local model and ended up timing out or crashing for other reasons in my tests. I'll now change the model to GPT 3.5 and we'll run it again. and GPT 3.5 gets it right on the first try again. Now let's try it on chain of table. Unfortunately, I had to cancel this as it seemed to run forever. Maybe you have better luck in the responsiveness when you use it for you experiments. I'd use chain of table only for experiments for now. Now let's dive a little deeper into the additional experiments. Inside of VS Code, I found a way to see what is going on under the hood. This means there is a way to track exactly what messages are sent to the model and how the model responds. Here I am using now one of the OpenAI models. On the left hand side you see my VS Code and on the right hand side a tool called Phoenix that I can use to see what messages are sent between myself and the LLM is. I can explore every query message and response to see what is going on. The top part of what I just scrolled through are the instructions sent to the model. That is a lot of tokens. At the bottom with blue background you the the first response. The model is instructed to respond in a very specific manner. In this case the model responded correctly. And that triggered another message to be sent with additional instructions, which we can see next. Again lot of detailed instructions. And at the end the table our question relates to. 
In the reps and some blue background you can see that the model is struggling to follow the instructions but tries to apply reasoning as good as it can. As the response format does not comply with what chain of table expects, we get the error we saw earlier. Let's now look at how our 7 billion parameter model Neural Beagle is doing when we dig into the detail. It looks like it got something right here as we enter a second iteration and the table has been reduced to one row only. We are also getting an error here. But let's review the responses in more detail. The model responds aligned with the expected format and asks to filter the table for row to end to only include certain columns. That explains what we saw in the second iteration. In the second response, it does not comply with the instructions given and the response format. However, if we read through this, you can see that the model actually picked up on the required steps and identified William Freakin as the correct response. There are two more responses logged after this. Although it looks like the model is just hallucinating and providing answers in the wrong format for questions from the examples provided in the long prompt chain of table sends. In the last message it seems to have gotten the right idea, but is missing the exact format. We'll leave it at that for today's video. Let me know what you encounter when experimenting with chain of table. Until next time.